Disney's Fort Wilderness Campground to stay in the cabins there for my very first time ever. The cabins in their current state are slated to be basically demolished and replaced with DVC cabins that are scheduled to open in 2024. So I had to stay in the cabins in their current state at least once before that happens. So we're gonna bring you along for the whole stay. We also rented a golf cart, which I'm really excited about. We're gonna give you a cabin tour, a campground tour, do some fun activities, and just have a wonderful wildernessy good time at the end of August, 2023. So let's go, we're all packed up, let's go. I'll take this one, but I'm definitely going to join you shortly. Alright, lead the way. Let's have our first look. Ah, I'm so excited! Hear music. Oh, oh my goodness. Let me show you around. First things first, this is the living room. We have so much seating here. So much seating. A whole comfy area, a seat there, a couch sofa there. We have the TV area. We have info that you need. And look, everything is themed like wildlife and wilderness. We have a nice view of some other cabins. Lots of windows. Kitchen, awesome. Full size everything. Full size dishwasher. Yes. Coffee, yay. Coffee maker, cutting board, cooker. Full size microwave. We're about to put groceries that we brought so that we could grill and stuff in here. So let me show you this full size fridge before we load it up with goodies and full size freezer. The cabinets are also stocked, so you have dishes, plates. Some of them are empty for storage space. Ooh, nice. A pitcher of water and a measuring cup. What's up here? Empty. What's in here? I love snooping around. Oh, how cute. The glasses are jars, like mason jars, but with a handle. Fairy Fort Wilderness. Very nice. Coffee mugs. Garbage, recycling, paper towels, spatula, tongs for grilling. You know, cooking and grilling supplies and pots and pans. Very nice, honestly. And a strainer. Oh, and a grill top. Cool. Oh, that's great. There's something so cozy about being here at Fort Wilderness. And y'all know I've come here before to dine and look at the horses at Tricircle D Ranch. And I have stayed at Wilderness Lodge before, but I've never stayed here in the cabins at Fort Wilderness. And I'm just like, I'm so excited. Well, let's keep looking around. For a long, long time ago, Fort Wilderness had its own train. And this is a picture of it, which is really cool. That so is really cool. It's not there anymore, but yeah. you can see some of the pathways that it used to take. That's awesome. But this is what the old train used to look like over here. What a beautiful piece of art. And look, they have the canoes also. Yeah. Wow. It says campground. Railroad Fort Wilderness by Colin Campbell, 1972, from the Walt Disney Imagineering Collection. They had a train from 1974 until 1980. Wow. Extra pillow and blanket. What's in here? Oh, electronics. Don't need to mess with that. And just more storage space. Lots of storage space. Lots. All right, let's check out the bedroom and bathroom. And I love the art everywhere. Got Bambi. Here's our porch, we'll show you that too. We're gonna do some grilling. Here is the restroom. 
I love all the wood paneling, how everything looks like it's, you know, homemade and rustic, but it's all modern. There's electricity, air conditioning, outlets, everything you could want. Cute little frosted uh, window. And here's the shower. So there is a tub, which I could give or take, but I know a lot of people like a tub. I love these storage shelves. That's great. H2O Plus products up here. More storage and a nice high shower head and cool wood all the way up to the ceiling and these beams. And here is the bedroom. Got a full length mirror as you walk in. A nice, looks like a queen size bed. The definition of cozy. There are bunk beds here. So you could fit, I don't know, two people and then like two other people or maybe more, depending on how many you think could sleep comfortably in here. A little nightstand. This Bible, remote control for the TV. And a view into the wilderness. Nice. Oh, look at that lamp. Okay, that's cool. The TV's showing us the hours of the parks and the hours here and the weather and all of that. And then look at all of this. We have iron, ironing board, safe. This is kind of like the closet area and it's a like a curtain here. So I've already put some of my luggage in there just to show you and there is a luggage rack there with more extra pillow there's also plenty of room under the bed for storing luggage that's a lot of space this is a little extra <laughs> getting ready area in the room so you have a mirror and some space here to spread out and get ready so you're not using up the bathroom <laughs> which is great i love it it definitely has this Charming, rustic, old school feel. What do we have here? Another piece of art. Trading Post Frontierland at Disneyland, 1956. Wow. So let me show you our sort of porch area as well. We've got a grill and a metal picnic table, a hose, a do not feed the wildlife. Nice. This is the cabin from the outside. There's the door to the bedroom. There's the front door. Fun fact about these cabins, you may have guessed they're not actually cabins. Maybe you thought they were like a little building or something. That's what I thought, but actually they're mobile homes. That surprised me a little bit to learn, but yeah, these are mobile homes designed and themed to look like cabins. You know, listen, I'll take it. There are steps to get up to the deck and here's our golf cart. And here is the cabin. We're staying in 2722. You can use your magic band or get a key card. So this version of the cabins have been here since around 1997 and the new versions are slated to, I guess, begin or be open in 2024. They may do it in phases. So you may have more time to stay in these cabins as they kind of close one loop and work on it and close another, or they may do all at once. We really don't know, but either way, Cool. Here's the paperwork they gave me when we checked in. So we're in loop 2700 here. The main area is the meadow. There's Clementine Beach. Clementine or Clement? Clementine. There's Clementine Beach, and that's where you can watch the electrical water pageant tonight. That's where Hoop De Doo is down there. Yep. And then here's the other side. So here we are, 2700, right? Those are the bus loops you can take around. And here's the meadow, here's the settlement, like you said, where hoop dee doo and all that is, the marina where you can catch the boat, the beach, and then here's a bunch of activities. I love it, walking around in this cabin, I just know we're gonna have a wonderful, magical stay. I'm really excited to stay here, and also to document it and share it. Since they're going to change these, this is like kind of a documentation of a part of Disney World history, and also just our lives, you know? So let's get things started. All right, you ready to go in? Explore the wilderness. Ready. Take a little joy ride, a little spin around in the golf cart. You got the keys? I've got the golf cart keys. Okay. Sam's uncovered the grill. I've got my eye on it. Scoping it out, right? Yep. You gonna grill for us today? I think I must. <laughs> I think you must. I think I must. <laughs> what do we bring? Burgers? Yeah, burgers, sausages, 
Okay, no. Corn, corn. Corn. Yeah. You know, last time I grilled something was at uh, King's Island. Yeah, that's right, so at the cabins there. You know, any chance that I get? Yeah. I'll, I'll give it a go. All right, let's go. So it's not going to make any noise because it's electric. How does it? Reverse. That's it, it's on. Forward and reverse are right there. There you go. You got to go this way, it's one way. Okay. Woo! Yeah. Everything is one way system around here. Oh, I love it so much. It feels like you're in like, it doesn't feel like you're at Disney. No, it really, it has that weird Disney magic feeling, but you feel like you're completely somewhere else. I love it. Nice breeze, huh? Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, there's a bunch of cut down trees, so we wonder if they're already starting to kind of work on construction or if that's just cut down trees. Whee! I love all the Spanish moss, all the trees. Slow ride, da, 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 da. take it easy. It feels weird to be driving a golf cart around Disney Plus. <laughs> so they said, basically drive this like you would drive a car, mm -hmm. but uh, if you can, move to the side for like big cars and buses. Like if there's room and you can, if it's behind you and kind of, you know, because we can't go as fast as a car. So here's one of the pools. This is the wilderness swimming pool. They said one's a quiet pool and one is a water slide pool. Anybody need a ride? There's space for two more back here. So obviously you can hear the bus noise, but when this is stopped, it's totally silent. They're electric and there's a plug. There's a plug on the back. I'll oh. show you when we get back to we, the we cabin and we're place. supposed to charge it, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. This is long. It is. We got a big sign here. We got the Meadow Recreation Area, Meadow Trading Post, Pioneer Hall. We're just gonna scope things out a little bit. I was gonna say check things out and then I was gonna say scope things out. Whoa, traffic ahead. That's like old school Chippendale. You having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Best <laughs> day ever. Some people decorate their carts. I love that. And then this is just a cart path. There's a walking path there and a cart path here. Here we are. All right. Some people bring their own golf carts. Yeah, I guess with your RV. Yeah. Right here. Parked. We're gonna just have a look around Pioneer Hall. As many times as we've been here, it's totally different being here with a golf cart. And since we're right here, we're gonna really quickly pop into the Tricircle D Ranch. Look, they're hosing off horses. <gasps> Tricircle D Ranch is one of my favorite places at Walt Disney World. Anyone can come here. You don't have to be staying here to come here and see the horses that live and work here at Walt Disney World. Look at them horse, horsing off. I was <laughs> hosing off some horses. Oh my gosh, look how cute. They're hosing them off. <gasps> I wish I was getting hosed off. Oops, and I'll take a little bit of that. Hi. <laughs> Recently there was a new pony born and I don't know if we can see it, but we'll see. Hi Grady. I wonder if they remember me. I was out here pretty recently. They definitely do. Skylar, beautiful. It looks like it's chow time, lunch time. Cheeto, aww. I always have to do this every time too. Pretty recently there was a brand new pony born named Pixie and sometimes she's out and if you're lucky you may catch her but right now she's in the back with her mom chilling, hanging out, so hopefully we'll get a glimpse of her some other time. Samson, I remember Samson. <gasps> Samson, I remember you. It's very pretty. Hi, beautiful baby. Oh, beautiful. There's a lot you can see and do here. You can do pony rides and horseback riding and all sorts of cool things. And it's just fun to say hi to the horses and see these beautiful creatures. You're getting bathed. I've never seen this, this is really cool. Love it. So yeah, whether you're staying here or if you're here for dining or whatever, definitely say hi to the horses if you get here before the ranch closes today, it closes at five. Here's some of the fun things you can do here. Uh, some of them are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only, but carriage rides, wagon rides, definitely those are some things to look forward to. Maybe we'll just grab a quick drink here since we're here, have a little quick look around and then we'll do some grilling back at the cabin. Last time we were out here, it was before they had fully transitioned Trails End. It used to be a sit down restaurant, it was so nice, but now it's a quick service restaurant. But we're not gonna eat there because we're gonna grill our own dinner tonight. But I think we'll pop into Crockett's Tavern. Oh, 
So it kind of looks the same vibe. So this is all new. Crockett's Tavern has now a lounge fair menu. And you know what? Grilling might take a while, so maybe we'll have a little snack while we're here. And then, it's a drink menu. They still have the moonshine and a bunch of different drinks. Well, since we're here and it's brand new, we'll have a little snack, a little drink, and then we'll head back. Even though the vibe is kind of the same, man, it looks different. So now it's like a quick service thing. Hmm. Different, but good that they still have the option. I got the Meadows Cup. Settle in and enjoy this twist on a classic cocktail, the Pim's Cup, with Pim's number one liqueur cup, Henrik's gin, Minute Maid premium lemonade and strawberry. And Sam got the Quail Trail Paloma. Terramana Blanco Tequila with Hella Cocktail Co. Smoked Chili Bitters, Grapefruit Soda, and a Chili Lime, lime Rim. Interesting. There's the Chili Lime Rim. Oh, God. Hello, sir. Would you like a sip? <laughs> okay. Cheers. I'm gonna try Sam's because it smells really spicy. It smells good though. It's strong. It definitely hits you in a weird way with that rim. It's very lemony, so very, very tart, and then very spicy too, but it tastes really good once you get used to it. It's just that first hit is like, whoa! So the drink itself is actually really light and nice tasting, and the rim actually tastes like something that would taste good in like a Bloody Mary or something. So it's, it's good, it's just shocking at first. <laughs> Yeah, the first sip, I got quite a lot of that off the top. Yeah. But the more I drink it, yeah. it goes good together. Yeah, but my drink is just basically a strawberry lemonade. Very, very tasty. Cheers. I like that this has a nice fresh strawberry on top too. Here's our charcuterie board. Actually looks really, really lovely. And I love the Mickey shaped crackers. Very, very cute. And it's got a nice array. Oh, look how nice the soft, I guess, goat cheese is. Like meat and cheese. Lovely. Thank you. Have a good one. And that's why people decorate them too. Then you can tell which one's yours. I'm driving this time. I'm going in the back. No! We can if you want, I guess. Started. I'm waiting for it always to like kick in. Yeah, right? For some noise. Yeah. Hang on to your horses back there, cowboy. <laughs> okay. One thing I'm not used to is that you don't need to really step on the brake to stop. You, you just as soon as take you take your foot off. Really scary back here. <laughs> oh my god! Hold on, please. I oh, am. Yeah. Okay, which way to go? Left, right? Uh, I think straight. Oh, okay. Swing your partner around and around. Woo Do you remember what loop we are? Two. Oh, yeah, we're 2700. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Actually, I don't know. All the names of the loops are really cute. Some of the loops are for RVs and campsites and some are for cabins. Beep beep.
Sweet home. Good drive in. Thank you. It was very fun. It's very fun to drive a golf cart. One day in life, I'd love a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> Just take the key out here. Home. Come on in. Feels nice in here. The AC is pumping. Feels good. <laughs> Time to slip into something a little more comfortable. Crux. Charcoal, step one. Step one. Sam is going to grill. He's gonna grill burgers, sausages, some corn. I don't know, whatever we have to grill. Yes. All right, getting started, getting started. It already starts to smell like campfire, so that's a good thing. It's grilling time, baby. Yeah. Yummy, yum, yum. Woo! These are the test hot dogs. <laughs> oh, uh, so good. So good. Fort Wilderness is famous for all year round people decorate their campsites, but especially during Halloween and Christmas, people go all out like inflatables, light up, huge, amazing displays. I've done videos on it before. Some of my friends do it. It's amazing. It is now the last week of August, and I did not really expect or think about the fact even though i've been looking at halloween stuff everywhere that there are campsites decorated up right now we saw hitchhiking ghosts we saw mickey pumpkins all sorts of cool things so tonight we're definitely going to drive around and take a look and hopefully we'll be all lit up and incredible but for now we're grilling and chilling cicadas the symphony of cicadas All right, it's looking good, looking good. We have burgers, bratwurst or bratwurst. We also have regular hot dogs. We've got some corn going. Everything smells really good. Can't wait to eat. We also have potato salad and macaroni salad awaiting us. And they came out perfect with the potato salad and macaroni salad and we're gonna have the corn too. I'm very excited. We are so full oh my gosh that was delicious there's nothing like grilled burgers hot dogs veggies like it just tastes different and out there is sam tending the grill he did an amazing job cooking everything he's still tending stuff we're gonna have <laughs> we're gonna have leftovers for sure and i think we'll save the leftovers because we want to watch the fireworks the electrical water pageant maybe we'll get some pool time i'm not sure but he's locked out, hold on. <laughs> but either way, we're gonna like go out there for the evening in a bit and do a bunch of stuff and then we'll have leftovers to eat for later. We cooked so much food <gasps> and we've only eaten one burger. I can't eat anymore. We did eat a couple hot dogs each though. Oh yeah, true. But we haven't even gotten to try the sausages yet. Yeah, I, we'll save those as a little and treat for later. Yeah. I think that burger had sleepy time. What did it have? It sleepy, sleepy time. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm so full. There's plenty more. It's so relaxing in here too, though. Yeah. Oh, let's take a nap. Let's go to the pool. It's pool time. Let's go check out the pool here at Fort Wilderness Campground. One interesting thing is you do have to bring your own towels to the pool. So most people here are camping. So they're in an RV campsite or the cabin and they would have their own towels, but the cabins do have their own towels. So we'll take towels from here and then we can ask for more, like call the front desk and they'll bring you more towels to replace the ones you use at the pool. So just something to note, you might want to bring some extras or you could just use theirs and, and ask for more either way. There are two pools here at the campsites. One is the quiet pool and one has a water side. Let's see if you can guess which one we're going to. Alright, go! Feels 
really quick when you set off. Yeah, it and does. It's a quick golf cart ride and we are gonna visit the Meadow Swimming Pool. I love that pool hours open till 11 p.m. That's awesome. Like this aquatic play area, how fun. Well, the slide is very popular, so I think it's almost my turn. <laughs> Again? Yes, again, second time. It's a really small slide, but it's really fun and the water feels amazing, so here we go, number two. Whee! There's actually a hot tub here, a spa, wow. Being in the pool at sunset when the water is warm and it just feels amazing and it's like late summer, it's pure magic. All right, I think we need to wrap up pool time because uh, it's approaching evening and we have a lot of things we want to do. And there's all sorts of games here. There's billiards. Ping pong. Some nights of the week they have Chippendales Campfire Sing Along, but it looks like every night they at least have a movie and a campfire. We got Croc Squeak, Croc Squeak happening. So this is where they'll be playing a movie tonight. You can roast marshmallows over here. We did bring our own supplies. So we're just gonna roast a couple of marshmallows. We got bigger sticks. They uh, kindly, kindly give us bigger sticks. Don't recommend the tiny sticks that we brought. <laughs> oh yeah, oh boy, okay. <laughs> Dark, huh? Yeah, I like that as a cup holder too. Showered, changed, refreshed, time to go back out there. We're gonna see, I think we can catch a glimpse of the Magic Kingdom fireworks from the beach and the electrical water pageant, which would be amazing, I think, I think. But either way, we're gonna see like the decorated campsites and just, just have a wild night golf carting around the wilderness campground. Let's go. All right, we are gonna drive out there. Let's go. It is dark out, wow. Let's go. Golf carts are the way to go. It feels amazing to be here driving around with a golf cart. If we didn't have one, I feel like this, no, no, it's not the way. The golf cart is required. By the way, I rented the golf cart like a few days in advance. People always say you have to book it months and weeks in advance and that may be true during busy holiday seasons but I booked it like a week in advance and they were like yeah we have plenty. We found some seats on the beach. It's about less than 15 minutes until the fireworks start and it is just beautiful to be on the beach at night at Disney World at your resort. Oh my gosh it's starting it's starting! <gasps> How cool! Look at that. That's what I'm talking about, right? Woo!
also brought some cookies. That's perfect. <laughs> Well, that was awesome. Watching the Magic Kingdom fireworks from a beach. Uh, there's several beaches that you can watch them from and I've shown you a few of them, but watching them from here is incomparable feeling. Amazing, there's families all around, relaxing in the chairs. We got kind of a little bit of a secluded area for seats here. The boat dock is right there. This is just lovely. The weather feels amazing. Like it's warm and nice, but it's cooled off a bit feels amazing and we're just gonna hold this spot down because the electrical water pageant happens I think it's hits here in about half an hour it goes around to all the Bay Lake resorts it's really really cool and cute and we're just gonna stay here because we have a front row seat to it I think I think it's like right here it's coming it's coming so you can see it come out get into position and then it'll turn on with wonderful music and light up the night this is a show anyone can see as long as you're situated somewhere on Bay Lake. Ah! <laughs> Yay! Each little bit as it lights up has its own little song. It's so cute. It definitely has nighttime electrical parade vibes, if you remember that. And it's just, you know, it's amazing. It's all sea creatures, see? <laughs> Alligator. Can we get a little, a little America section? People can watch from the boat dock, from here on the beach, like we are. It's amazing. Woo! So for a while they were doing a special 50th anniversary section, but I guess they're not. I wonder if they'll add a 100th anniversary section. <gasps> That'd be amazing. I love that. God, I love it. Again. The electrical water pageant has been going on here at Walt Disney World since 1971. So it's an opening day show. It has changed a bit over the years, but it just holds such a special place in my heart and I'm sure so many of your hearts too and people who have been coming to this resort for many years. It just feels like old school Disney. It feels like something very magic, something very special. Uh, something like a little gift to us, like a little, here you go, here's just a little fun, here's a little fun, a little magic. I don't know, we love it. That was an incredible hour or so spent on the beach. We're gonna go back to the golf cart and now we're gonna drive around and see everybody's cool campsite decorations. And this is one of the awesome displays that I saw earlier but lit up at night even cooler. We got hitchhiking ghosts, uh, Mickey pumpkin ghost, and Minnie, Mickey and Minnie pumpkin, and then a hidden Mickey in a spider web. I love it. Oh, that's awesome. And I saw this one earlier too. Mickey pumpkins. Mickey and Minnie. That's all blue. Looks awesome. Mickey memories. Pretty. I couldn't get it fast enough. A bunny just crossed in front of us. A little bunny rabbit and it went off into the... There it is. I literally see it. It's right there. Oh, it just ran away. Look, pumpkins. Let's see if we can see it around the other side of the car. Nice. Mickey pumpkin lights. Everybody makes their campsite all cozy. Oh, that's pretty, wow. It's like a party. <laughs> We're back in the cabin. We just went for a very fun ride around, a little joy ride around in the golf cart. And we love having a golf cart. And we've both said multiple times, 
throughout this evening that we wouldn't do this any other way. If you don't have a golf cart, we would have had to either take our car to, to go to the different spots, take a bus, there are eternal buses, which you could do, no problem, but it's a lot more fun in a golf cart. And we went and checked out a bunch of campsites and we saw a lot more than I even could film and show you. We saw like decorations, just kind of like year round general cozy camp decorations, a few Halloween decorations, not a lot, but a few. And I also saw uh, a big candy corn and some other blow ups that I didn't even catch because we were just going. And we also saw the tents. So people do camp in tents here. There are loops that are cabins like these. And then there are loops for big RVs, all sorts of different rigs like that. And then there are loops for small pop-up campers and tents, like straight up tents. And there are a lot of people here tent camping. So very brave souls in August in Florida, tent camping, I gotta say. But it's just so much fun to drive around. The whole evening was amazing. So we are gonna relax, tuck in for the night, get ready for bed, and then uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Well, that's a nice view. Slept really good, very comfortable. So, we woke up still full from barbecue and roasting marshmallows and everything yesterday. So we're just not hungry for breakfast in the slightest, but there is breakfast that can be had here over at Trails End. The bed was comfortable, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day out. These curtains, I expected there to be so much light coming in this morning, but these curtains are powerful because it was pretty dark in the morning, and when my alarm went off, I was sound asleep. Like, I don't think I would've just woke it up naturally from the sun for at least another hour or so. So glad my alarm was set, but we're just making coffee here. There's a coffee maker in the kitchen, and then we'll just grab something to eat later, probably head into the park today or something, but we're gonna wrap up, we're gonna get ready. We're getting ready to check out, and it's been such a nice stay. We would love to come back and do this again, and stay longer even. But there's so much to do here. The horseback riding, the carriage rides, the campfire sing-along, that only happens on certain nights of the week though, the sing-along. I think it's like Wednesday through Saturday or Sunday. And there's hoop de doo review, which we'll come back and do another time also. Probably like its own video, because it's its own whole thing. And right now we're just tidying up, getting all of our stuff ready, ready to check out. When we check out, we'll head back to the front office and drop off the golf cart that has to be returned by 11 and check out is 11, so. Sounds like the coffee's a brewing though. gonna miss this thing. Yeah. You think we can get one one day? <laughs> Don't know where we could go on it. <laughs> Me neither, but all right. Here we go. Cast members here to help. There's a key drop off box and they will take them away for you. This has been so special. We have loved every moment of this stay. We love Fort Wilderness Campground. It's just beautiful. So many wonderful memories here and making new ones. This is probably, probably my favorite memory here. We've just had a wonderful, wonderful time. I understand why they're upgrading the cabins. Like, I get it, I get it. They wanna be more modern. But concept art that we've seen of the new ones has a very different look, a very modern, clean look. It seems like you could fit quite a few people in this cabin. It also looks like a pull-out couch. You've got the bunk beds, you've got the beds. I can hear people going, woo, outside. It's the people next to us. They're having like a big hoopty, hoopty do. So glad that we got to have this day and document it as it is. We're so excited to see what the new cabins will be like and hopefully we'll be able to come out and stay in them and show them to you as well once they open in uh, scheduled for 2024. So we'll see, that's next year, not that far away. So it does seem like 
things should start happening fairly quickly if they are planning to stick to that timeline. If you'd like to see more theme park and highly themed and interesting resort tours, I have a specialty playlist of that up on my channel so you can check that out. And of course, all sorts of different videos up. So thank you so much for coming with us to enjoy this stay. Let me know what you thought of it. If you've ever stayed in the cabins here or maybe the RV or camping or any of that. But this is more of a camping, glamping really, if you're staying here in the cabins or in a nice RV. But you know what, glamping at Disney World? I will take it, I will take it. It is nice. It is a wonderful, cozy, magical feeling. Watching the fireworks on the beach last night and the electrical water pageant and just grilling here on the porch. Just mm, mm, mm. wonderful memories that we will treasure. So thank you so much for being here with us and being part of these memories with us. I am sending you a ton of love. We'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay tuned. Bye.